And just remember, what you're seeing and what you're reading is not what's happening. Not what's happening. The party told you to reject the evidence of your eyes and ears. It was their final, most essential command. Not what's happening. Donald Trump. So much doublespeak. 1984 is his playbook. They tell us one thing, but our own eyes see it differently. I am the law and order candidate. Knock the crap out of them, would you? Polluters in charge of the environment. A public school enemy in charge of education. His own minister of disinformation. Was he making a joke about police brutality? And he was simply making a comment, making a joke. And now? the last hope of defending our basic freedoms and constitutional rights, the U.S. Supreme Court on the verge of falling to Donald Trump. But he can't have New York, not on my watch. I'm Licia Eve, and I'm running for Attorney General to be your champion. Licia Eve, proud daughter of Buffalo, woman of Harlem. With Harvard Law, the Kennedy School, and New York State's highest court, Licia Eve has more courtroom experience across our state than anyone else in this race. Licia has the legal chops to stand up to Donald Trump and fight for New York. My first big case as a lawyer, defending the rights of incarcerated women, because no woman should be forced to give birth with her legs shackled to a hospital bed. Licia went on to work for Joe Biden and Hillary Clinton, where she kept fighting for women and the forgotten. But it was her parents' work fighting for the poor, the powerless, and the imprisoned that taught her the value of guts, determination, and fearlessness. I carry those lessons with me to this day. For me, for all New Yorkers, our founding principles are not just quaint notions from a bygone era. When it comes to liberty, justice, and equality, I'll never stop fighting for you. We are New York. We lead, we stand up to Donald Trump at any threat to our values and way of life. So when Donald Trump goes after the rights of workers, immigrants, women, when he and his Supreme Court go after human rights, civil rights, reproductive rights, he's gonna have to go through me and the 20 million New Yorkers I'm fighting for.